Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of how to calculate taxes for a particular family. And now I'm using the 2024 tax year table. So I'm updating, I've updated the um, tax tables, but I left the original video because the way we calculate it hasn't changed. Nothing has been changed by the legislation or president or anything like that. So the, um, the formula works the same as um, starting in 2018, but now we're updating to use the 2024 numbers. Okay, so uh, we have an example here of Jamie and Jordan, and they have one child, and they're married filing jointly. Their adjusted gross income is $106,000, and they have itemized deductions of $31,200. So this could be like mortgage interest, um, could be health care, other anything you're allowed to, um, to itemize. Um, actually, probably not healthcare, but some other things you're allowed to itemize. And you should have somewhere uh, 2024, or if you're seeing this in a future year, if your instructor gave you a different year, use that year. But you should have some tax tables. And in the first table tells us what the standard deduction amounts are. And then we have a table for each type of filing. So we have a table for single head of household, married filing jointly, and this um, is in the textbook as well, and then another one for married filing separately. Okay, so first we need to look at the standard deduction. Um, the, the first blank here is saying, what's the standard deduction for this situation? So married filing jointly, or could be a surviving spouse, is 29,200. So I'm gonna write that in. 29,200. And now we get to choose the higher of either the itemized or standard. So everyone gets the standard deduction no matter what. It's like a certain amount of income that you can make without paying any taxes, that much money. If you can itemize more than that, that's good because you get to deduct this from your adjusted gross income. So I'm going to write out here, we want to use the higher one. Okay, so I see the itemized are higher, so I'm gonna circle that one and cross that one out, okay? We get to use the higher one, and then to get our taxable income, we subtract, and that's, we, ha we do have our formula from the last video. Let me find it real quick. This one isn't in color because I just made a copy. Um, adjusted gross income, my, the, then we subtract the higher of the standard deduction or the itemized deductions, and we get taxable income. So that's what we're finding. So I'm going to write down the 106,000 minus 31,200. And let's see how much that comes out to. 106, 0, 0, 0, minus 31, 200. Okay, 78,000, or sorry, 74,800. So that is their taxable income or the amount they will pay tax on, okay? Now tax from table is calculated, as it sounds, from the table. So we've got to figure out which one we're using and they are married filing jointly. So we're gonna use this table right here. And then on the left, let me just orient you to this table. It says if taxable income is. So these tables are all based on the taxable income. So we have some calculation first to get that. And then we're gonna figure out which row their taxable income is in. Okay, so 74,800. And then we're going to look and see. Okay, so it is over 23,200, but not over 94,300. So we're going to use this row, and I'm going to grab another sheet of paper so I can isolate this. It helps if you have a, a sheet of paper or if you want to highlight or circle, if that can help you um, see which, which row to look at. So our 78, what was it? It was 74. Where this one? 
74800 is in this row right here. And it's not the shaded one, it's the white one. Okay, so then on the right side of the table, it says the tax is. And then this is actually a formula, but it's written out in words. It says uh, $2,320 plus 12% of the excess over 23,200. Okay, so the amount, and they're talking about taxable income over this amount. So we get to take this part out. Okay, and the reason is that's already taxed at 10% and that's calculated right there. Um, okay, so I'm going to move this. I'm going to write it down on my paper. I'm going to write it in the same way that it's written in the table. Okay, so tax from table. I'm going to start way over here. 2,320 plus 12% of is 0.12 times. And now I'm going to write parentheses because there's an operation in here. It's the excess over uh, 23,200. So I need to do a subtraction and find the difference in here. So I'm going to take my taxable income, 74, or their taxable income, minus the 23,200. Okay? So I wanted to write it out specifically the way it's written out in the table. But of course you can do this in other ways. If you wanted to subtract this first and then multiply and then add, you can do that as well without writing it out this way. Um, okay, so that is our formula for the tax. What I'm going to do is just calculate it in a couple steps. So I'm going to write the 22320 but you could do it all in one. Um, 0 0.12 parentheses, uh, 74,800 minus 23,200. Okay, 6,192. Okay, and then I'm just going to add the two, three, two, zero. On top of that, we get 8,512. Okay, so that means this couple owes um, the government $8,512 in taxes. Okay, I'm gonna pause this just for a second because I got a different answer last time, but I might have been wrong. It was late last night. So let me just pause and double check. Okay, this is right. I had just changed a number. Um, I, I made this bigger, so I changed the number. So that's why I got a different answer. Um, just wanted to make sure I don't tell you the wrong, <laughs> don't give you the wrong answers. Okay, so we're going to continue from here. They, this couple owes 8512 in taxes. But now that would be a really big bill to get at the end of the year, right? So that's why um, from each paycheck, we get taxes deducted, but it's an estimate because they don't know exactly how much we're going to owe in the end. So it's an estimate. So that's why you have to file your taxes and do this adjustment at the end where you either get a refund or you might owe money. Okay, so that's what they actually owe. But now also if you have tax credits, that is a wonderful thing because that just takes this right off. It subtracts dollar for dollar right from your tax. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract. 8,512 minus $2,000. Now this might be the child tax credit. It's going to be 6,512. Okay, so now actually they only owe $6,000, 512 in taxes. And then from their paychecks throughout the year, they actually had withheld $7,120, okay? So since they actually withheld more, they're going to get money back. Um, this is going to be a refund for them. So we're going to subtract. And I like to put the withholdings first because that's what you've already paid. Um, and the minus is then what you owe. Whoops, I could have done that horizontally or vertically, but I switched to horizontal. Uh, 7120 minus 6512. 
So it gives us a 608. And this is a refund because they already paid more than they actually owed. Um, the reason it's nice to set it up this way is then a positive will come out as a refund and a negative will come out as what you owe. But either way, you can also do it intuitively of figuring out whether it's a refund or, a, um, or money owed. Okay, so that is an example of going through the whole process for, um, for this family. Okay, great. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.